chickadees are adorable little birds to watch. They seem so bursting with energy and never really sit still. From far away, when I can't quite make out the markings, I know it's still a chickadee just by all the movement and its calls. For a few years now, I've had the joy of landlording chickadees and if one happens upon your nest box, do whatever you can to protect these little guys. They usually only have one set of babies, or that's to say one brood per year, and with things like predation, habitat loss, and threats from invasive species stacked against them, it's really important to help them successfully fledge. Usually, they'll begin to look for nesting sites in late February to mid-March, even out as far as April. When it comes to tree hole sites, both the male and female chickadees will excavate the nest hole. But it's the female who will bring nesting material to the nest site and begin to build. In a nest box, if you see wood shavings or sprigs of moss, those are the first signs you have a chickadee starting to build a nest. Though it could also be a tufted tip mouse, sometimes it's too early to tell. Chickadees build the base of their nest out of mossy lichen and field bark. Usually it takes about a week, however, if a lot of territory defense is happening, it can take as long as 10 to 14 days due to all of the distraction. As you watch the progression of nest building, you'll know your chickadee is near completion when you start to see fur in the nest. Fur is the last layer to be added, and she'll distribute it all around the nest. A wad or tuft of fur over the cup is a good sign she's begun to lay. The mama chickadee will cover the eggs with fur during the laying period when she's not present in the nest. She'll usually lay one egg a day during the morning time, and chickadees can lay between six to eight eggs in a single clutch, give or take. These eggs are very small. Pictures don't even do them justice, but think of small jelly beans to get an idea of the size. After the last egg is laid, the mother bird will begin incubation, and this ensures that all of the eggs hatch around the same time. Incubation can last about two weeks, after they've hatched, both parents will work to feed the nestlings, taking turns going in and out of the tree hole or nest box. It is busy work, but so much fun to watch. And then, about 16 to 18 days after hatching, the babies are ready to fledge. Fledge day is so exciting as parent birds start chattering wildly, coaxing their nestlings out for their very first flight. And then that's it. The nest will go quiet. And for the chickadees, the season is over. It can definitely be a little sad when the nest is empty and everything's quiet, but if the chickadees were in the nest box, clean it out immediately, reset it, and you may be able to attract some bluebirds during the remainder of the bird breeding season.